Today we have a special guest. His name is Drew from Drew Hall, born and raised in the Sixth Borough, New Jersey City. Hey, Jersey. Um, no, Jersey City of New Jersey, who is coming at you live with a few bars off the dome. Here is Yo Soy Negro. Forget immigration, the racist white Tejanos. How would they ever know what I know? Shout out to my Mexicans, Hondurans, and black Cubanos. We're shutting the border down. You can call them no fly zone. Adios, Americanos. Me and my amigos are stealing the women and playing them like pianos. I'm a vocal terrorist. The Zerical vote should be a primary interest. Public enemy number one, domestic hectic terrorist. I'm stealing your, I'm influencing your white daughters and son. Right to bear what? I'm taking the tea party's guns. Stealing your freedom from right up under you. All your jobs, your way of life, your point of view. I'm the original black power ranger. Hide your right wing minds if not, I swear they'll be in danger. I'm the broken brick. The stone left unturned. The rhythm of the wind. The willingness to learn. The desire to fight and get what you earn. I'm the individual placed on the no-fly list with my handball into a fist because my beard's too tight and my turban's too thick. I'm the man choked to death by NYPD for selling cigarettes. Now I'm riding with my words, doing lyrical pirouettes. Mm -hmm. Yo soy negro, spitting jive like lingo. I want a Pam Greer. Keep your Marilyn Monroe. I'm from the sixth borough, bucking like a Bronco. To fist, they said to finish him, I'm educating black. Hit him with that combo. You see, I'm non-fiction Shuey Freeman, battling Congress and their demons. Catch me flexing on the law, looking like a black he-man. Stand up for what I believe in, right in my notepad, I stay steady scheming. With my head up in the clouds, I stay steady dreaming. Yo soy negro, I froze on mic sub zero, I'm not concerned with the Dolores or De Niro, the yen of the bills, yo. I'm still waiting for Marvel make a Mexican superhero. How did you get your start in writing? Oh, I started writing when I was really little. I used to write poems and stuff, you know, English language classes, so I always were, I always would write. Um my grandfather used to write and read me a lot of bedtime stories, so I guess it started there. Hmm. But I grew up in Jersey City, Six Borough. Uh, 201. Um, we had a lot of theater arts, uh, a lot of music. It was very uh, artistic city, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So I grew up around that. So what inspired that poem? Uh, one of my best friends, actually, um, is an immigrant in this country. And I uh, grew up with him. I grew up playing with a lot of other kids from South America and the Caribbean playing soccer. Uh, and there's an incident that kind of impacted me when I was 10 years old where immigration came to the field during one of our games and took one of our um, friend's fathers away. He hadn't seen him since like last year. Wow. So the um, more I got older, the more I began to understand this and where I'd write, I didn't want to just write the same stuff everyone else was writing about, you know, money and cars. I figured I'd say something, you know, with some value. Me too. All right, thank you so much, Drew. We really appreciate it. That poem was amazing. Thank you. Okay, next we have Akila Relaford, owner and founder of Mary Louise Clothing and Accessories. Hello, Akila. Hi. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Okay, so tell us about your clothing line. Um, I started Mary Louise in the spring of this year, and it's pretty much just a female, it's a female clothing line, and everything is handmade by myself. So we make graphic, oh, I make graphic <laughs> t-shirts and bows and hair accessories, and it's just been growing from, from there. Okay, okay. So, um, why did you start it? I've always been into fashion and fashion design, so I'm pretty much obsessed with anything having to do with fashion or fashion industry. Mm -hmm. And so I would always see these online clothing stores and shops on Instagram and Tumblr and Twitter. I'm like, I can do the same thing too. So I mm -hmm. um, looked up some videos on YouTube on how to start my own business and did some research and I um, did my first sample t-shirt and then I just started selling them at school first and then I put them online. I have an online website too. It's www.shopmarylouise.ticktail.com mm -hmm. and so it's just, it's an online store primarily but eventually I hope it, it grows into a physical store too. Okay, next we have Zach, my good friend Zach <laughs> from New Orleans, How you Louisiana. doing baby? <laughs> And he's here to promote, what are you here to promote that? I'm here to promote Men of George Washington, Washington Carver. I'm a community service organization founded in Carver Hall last year actually. Um, founded on the principles of manhood, brotherhood, and community service. Okay, mm. okay. So, I guess what's your favorite thing about being an MOG? My favorite thing about Men of George Washington Carver is probably the refined character that I got throughout the process of mm -hmm. becoming a member of this fantastic organization. Um, I've seen so many people grow exponentially in ways where their leadership qualities really come out to shine. 
That's great. That's great. So, um, I heard through the grapevine that there's a different organization on campus called <laughs> GODSC. So, how does MO, you know, differentiate between them? Well, we differ from them. I'm doing my best not Thursday. <laughs> um, we differ from them because we're a community service organization. We're not a social club. Mm -hmm. So, we actually do community service year-round as opposed to one week out of the year. Oh, notice how you said actually. Okay, oh. so do you guys do you guys have a week yet or Well actually the wonderful thing about that is our week is coming up next week. Starting on Sunday we have our call to chapel and then we have a series of events that go from Sunday to the next Saturday. Okay, okay. So next we're gonna go into our relationship advice segment and guess who's doing it? Zach. Me. <laughs> All right, so what's your advice? So I have one tip, one tip of the day. Um, ladies, don't be afraid to use your power of accountability. Whoa. <laughs> so I need you to explain to the people exactly what that means. Accountability can be as simple as asking the question, what are we? Because being a woman, you have the power to decide how the relationship's going to go. Mm -hmm. As you've heard the saying, women run the world, so you can use your power of accountability to do so. The whole thing about relationships, I think, is that a lot of people nowadays focus on what's like, you know, how people perceive relationships, how, you know, people looking at me, with my, my partner. Mm -hmm. But reality, you guys gotta remember that it's about you and whoever you're in a relationship with, so you try to make each other better at all times. Exactly. And you should be you know, just focused on each other, not so much worried about you know, what else is going on. Definitely. Um, exactly. My girlfriend, Akila, <laughs> I want to Mary Louise clothing. Um, we make sure every time, you know, that we know what each other wants. Um, if we have something that's for a certain way, we tell each other. Mm -hmm. So there's really no need for, you know, games or this whole long period. I know a lot of my friends, I'm not, you know, trying to throw them on the bus, but a lot of my friends will have these girls that they're talking to for months and want to put a label on things, even though it may be a great girl because they're worried about what people are going to say about them if they have a girlfriend. I've walked around campus, um, second week in the high school, high school, I'm still in high school mindset. Uh, <laughs> second week here on campus, everyone was calling me cuff boy, but you know, it didn't bother me because I got someone who's like, you know, general honest who understands me. So exactly. it means a lot more than just being called a couple of names and stuff. You know, it's worth it in the long run. Why so. do you think we are afraid of love? You know, is it just because we're young? Is it because like we're just immature? But go ahead. I, I personally think that we're not so much afraid of love as mm -hmm. much as we are afraid of being hurt. Mm -hmm. Because in the past, like people will have past relationships that didn't end um, favorably and it leaves them with emotional damage mm -hmm. and baggage that they're not ready to bring to the next relationship or that they feel that the person that they're going to be with will view that as a burden and I feel that we're more afraid of the hurt than, a, than we are afraid of actually finding love because everybody wants to be loved. Right. Uh, I agree with that. Uh, also I want to add that, that a lot of times people's egos get in the way mm -hmm. relationships. I know a lot of guys that um, I have with a lot of my friends um, like I said before, being called cuff, the fear of like being embarrassed, you don't have this ego and persona. A lot of times, like, the media portrays them how men should be. You, know, you got the Hugh Hefner types, you know, like, all these women and everything. And that's what is cool. And then girls at the same time have this ego that I'm too pretty to talk to anybody. I know a lot of my friends go up to a girl, like, hey, how are you? And she'll just like look at him like he's has three heads and he's stupid. <laughs> and he just wants to know how you're doing. Because to... you can't get into a relationship and you don't know who you are. You don't know what you stand for. You don't have, you know, you don't know your own personal values. So it's like. You'll get into a relationship depending on this person for anything, you know what I mean? Like emotional support, just money, whatever the case is, you know? And it's just like, you need to know yourself, men and women. Like you need to know yourselves before you step into a relationship with someone else. Cause you can damage yourself and damage that person. I want to thank everyone for coming. Akila for sharing her um, fashion design line called... Mary Louise Clothing and Accessories. <laughs> what was and the our website again? www.shopmarylouise.ticktail.com mm -hmm. All right, and we want to thank Derek for coming through and our special guest, Zach. All right, thank you so much. This is Dominique and, and Anya for Glasshouse Radio. Black Love on Glasshouse Radio, part of Howard University's network where black love is black power.